let's have a look at a stock standard fuel calculation. A 1.5 gram sample of ethanol is combusted and used to heat a tin containing 100 grams of water. The temperature of the water rose by 3.5 degrees Celsius. Determine the enthalpy of the ethanol in kilojoules per mole. So what is this question asking us? It wants us to find the enthalpy. What is enthalpy? It is the energy per mole of the fuel combusted. So that tells us I need to find two things. I first of all need to find kilojoules, which is here, and I also need to find the number of moles. So let's start and look at those particular calculations. The number of moles is pretty straightforward because I know the mass of my ethanol, I simply do mass over molar mass, and that gives me how many mole of ethanol I combusted. The energy, which is the kilojoules, is worked out via the temperature change of our water. And that's using the equation below me here, which is Q equals MC delta T. So the energy is equal to the mass times the specific heat capacity of water, which is 4.18, times our temperature change. And you can see here the temperature change was 3.5 degrees Celsius. Now, the key with this is, is the energy in this particular equation comes out as joules. So therefore, I need kilojoules, I'm going to need to convert that from my joules into my kilojoules here. So once I know my moles and I know my energy, I can simply do the calculation, which is kilojoules by mole. So therefore, kilojoules divided by mole. So therefore, my enthalpy, which is delta H here, is equal to energy divided by mole, which is my energy I have from here, divided by my mole equals the answer that I have below here. One thing I may have stuffed up here is the enthalpy probably should be negative because it's delta H and energy is being released. So my answer here probably should have a negative sign in front of it. But that's a fuel question.